Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited that you guys are here and I hope that you are having an absolutely fantastic morning, afternoon, or night, whatever it is for you when this video finally reaches you. You guys, today's video is one that I am so excited to dive into because we are once again diving into the dark, spooky side of TikTok. Except this time we're diving into something that TikTok users are currently experiencing. Now, I don't know if this is some sort of TikTok glitch, whether it's an account trying to spook people, or if there really is something dark and terrifying going on here, but that is exactly why I wanted to bring it here on my channel to share it with you guys and ask you guys at the end of the video to comment in the comment section and let me know what you think is going on if you you've experienced this on TikTok and what you think these users should do. Before we get into today's video though, I would just very quickly like to thank today's video sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. Better yet, it's a flexible subscription so you can skip any month you choose without any penalties. Scentbird lets you pick a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $16. And you get to pick what you want to receive, so there are absolutely no surprises. They have perfumes, colognes, and a ton of unisex options as well. Scentbird carries designer brands and all of their fragrances are 100% authentic. With each fragrance, you'll receive a 30-day supply so you can test out the fragrance without having to commit to the full-size bottle right off the get-go. Oh, and you can also upgrade to receive two to three products a month as well. Now, something that I absolutely love is that you can head on over to Scentbird's Fragrance Recommendation Quiz. And based off of your previous purchases and the quiz, they'll be able to help you find a fragrance that you will absolutely love. With Scentbird, you can try high-end fragrances for just $16 a month. However, with my code, it'll be just $11 for your first month. The scents that I received this month are so different than any fragrance that I've ever tried in the past, which is something that I love about Scentbird. You're able to try a whole bunch of different fragrances until you find your absolute favorites. I got Confessions of a Rebel, Let's Be Real, Versace, Bright Crystal, and Pamela Rowland. So make sure that you guys use code Reese to get 30% off of your first month, making it just $11. And thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. But without further ado, let's get into this spooky TikTok shenanigans. <laughs> All right, so let's get into this particular TikTok experience. I'm gonna read it to you guys, and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of the thoughts that I have surrounding this. This is titled, Something Terrifying is Happening on TikTok. Where do I even begin? I don't really know where to start with this because I've never been someone who spooks easily. I grew up making fun of my sister for being such a chicken and have always loved a good thrasher film. I've never been religious, superstitious, or fearing of anything really, but something effed up is happening, and I need to know that it isn't just me. Back in September, I was advised by my doctor to take a medical leave from work. My health hasn't been the best, and it seemed like bed rest was looking like our best way to get me better fast. The first few weeks, I found many of ways to occupy myself, but eventually I was getting bored with the same routine of events. I ended up talking to a buddy of mine who told me that whenever he wanted to kill some time, he would go on TikTok. Me too. <laughs> At first I laughed. Isn't that just a bunch of teenage dancers? But after he sent me a few of his favorite ones, I was hooked and decided to download the app because well, why the hell not? I really had nothing better to do. I was actually surprised at how entertaining the few minutes of a TikTok could be. And before I knew it, a good chunk of my day was spent scrolling on that app. One night, I was feeling especially sick. It felt like my doctor's orders weren't working and now I was breaking out in a sweat, trembling, and overall, not myself. I decided to take a cold bath to try and calm myself down. I lit a candle, shut off the light, and climbed into the tub. Once I sat down in the bath, I was physically feeling somewhat better, 
but my mind wouldn't stop racing. I reached out of the tub and dried my hands on the towel that lay on my bathroom floor. I reached for my phone and opened up. TikTok. At first, it did exactly what I intended for it to. It took my mind off of how ill I was feeling and allowed my breathing to calm. Before I knew it, I was laughing and gasping and in another world. I scrolled, scroll, 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 and then stopped. The TikTok was a black screen for a good few minutes. Intriguing and silent. Then a face faded into frame. The face was like something out of a horror movie, like the doll from Saw, but worse. I sat there in my candlelit bathroom just staring at it, wondering what the hell that thing was. Almost a moment later, it started repeating, chosen, you've been chosen, in almost a talking, singing voice if that makes any sort of sense. The whole thing was so strange that I decided to just keep scrolling. I think I would too, honestly. I scrolled, scroll, 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 and then bam, that face again. Except this time, it started chanting something in a language I couldn't understand. Again, I scrolled past it, this time faster than the last. I was sure the algorithm would get the hint that I was far from interested in content of that creator. But once again, after a few scrolls, there was the face. I had never had so much of one account back to back like that in my entire, mind you short lived, time on the app. I was about to scroll again when I heard what it was saying. I could understand this video. It was saying, it's me again, over and over and over. At this point, I was kind of creeped out. So I decided to click on the account and see what the hell it was and if it was some sort of parody account. But when I clicked the account, it said it didn't exist. I went to send the video to my friend and ask if he'd ever seen this creepy little dude before and again, the video didn't exist. I decided to throw my phone and was about to get out of the tub. Right as I exited the app, the candle I had on in the bathroom burnt out. A coincidence, I'm sure, but eerie nonetheless. I stayed off TikTok for a few days after that because I was annoyed by the whole ordeal. Instead, I played some video games, watched some shows, and relaxed. A week or two went by, and again, I was having another night where I didn't feel well. This night was even worse than the last, and panic started to really set in. I tried to keep my mind off of how sick I was feeling, and then remembered how TikTok had helped keep my mind off things. I think it's the fact they're short little videos, so my mind doesn't have time to wander. So again, I opened the app. I watched just three videos until that face came up again. This time saying, you poor thing, you poor, poor thing, over and over and over again. I was so mad at this point. I felt sick, I was panicking, and now I felt terrified of this creator or video or whatever the F you wanna call it. I went to click the profile again so I could block the creator and end this nightmare, but again, the page didn't exist. I decided to delete the app and move on with my life, which was fine for a few days, until last night. Last night I was feeling fine though. I made myself dinner, watched a movie, and headed to sleep. Then I started dreaming. I should mention, I'm not typically a dreamer, but this dream was of the face, repeating over and over, you're chosen, until I woke up. And now, I'm here typing this. What the hell is going on? Should I add going crazy to my list of many things wrong with me right now? I have no idea why I keep seeing that face on my TikTok page, but it's not a real account. What the hell does it all mean? Am I just dreaming of it now because the whole thing has scared me half to death? I'm embarrassed that I'm so scared of this because like I said, that's not usually the vibe for me, but I have no idea what the F is going on. I don't know if anyone is gonna see this, but if you do and have any answers, even if it's just that you think I'm whack, please let me know. Now it appears that this was initially the end of the post. However, then it says, edit slash update. Holy I can't believe how many of you have reached out and told me that you had the same experience and have seen this face too. Even describing parts of it, I didn't even add to my story. I don't know what the F is going on, but something is going on with that app and I am terrified. What the is going on on TikTok. Whatever it is, it's terrifying. And that's the end. Now underneath this, there's a whole bunch of people saying like, I've seen this too, I've had this experience too. And like a whole bunch of different people explaining like what they saw on this like creepy looking thing. And then others saying, oh my God, yes, I've seen that too. 
So when I read this, I started asking myself, like, what could be going on here? At first, I thought it's probably just one of those accounts meant to scare people, which would make more sense. But then when he kept saying when he clicked it, the account didn't exist. And when he tried to send the TikTok, his friend said it didn't exist either. But yet he kept seeing this creator. It was just super unsettling to me. One of the initial things that I noted was that this was happening when he wasn't feeling well. So at first I thought, you know, did he really see it? Was he perhaps hallucinating? I also thought, could it be some sort of paranormal activity preying on him because he is ill and not feeling well? But the fact that other people are coming forward and saying that they've seen this character or thing too makes it all the eerier. Could it be a TikTok glitch that perhaps there is a creator posting this spooky content, but it seems as though their account doesn't exist? Could it be just a creator posting it with no real explanation as to why the account doesn't exist? Or is there something darker going on? I don't know, but I am like seriously so freaking excited to hear from you guys what you think of this. Like, have any of you seen anything like this? What do you think of it? Do you think it's, it's really happening? Please let me know in the comments below. I guarantee you I'm going to be spending my night reading through the comments because I don't know what to make of this and you guys always have the most interesting theories. So that is basically it for today's video. Once again, I would just love to thank Scentbird for sponsoring today's video. As I mentioned, you guys use my code Reese to get 30% off of your first month, making it just $11. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed, but you do enjoy my content, I would absolutely love it if you go ahead and click that subscribe button and please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness and until next time, I love you guys.